Cross what? Cross wallet are about to take off to a whole new level. I normally say if the train has left the station, wait for the next train. But are we about to see the rocket take off? Because it looks like Crosswap and Cross Wallet, as anticipated, if you saw my last videos, are doing a textbook A B C correction, which is one of the best times to buy with minimum risk, maximum upside. We only do probabilities, never certainty. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jagir. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro, been featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies. Back in 2008, used to trade currencies for 15 years, now exclusively on crypto. So let's dive straight in. So if you saw my last video, I think it was my last video or last couple of videos on cross swap, what I said was on technicals, we used fundamentals to buy and on technicals, we said we should be anticipating a nice A, B, C correction into this zone. And if it does unfold like this, which is just the natural, normal psychology of buying and selling, we want to be on high alert, very, very high alert. Now, before we jump into today's data, I'll, I'll quickly show you actually quickly show you look at this it's like almost just textbook oh obviously it's, it's different but it's like this a this b and then this c style pattern this is more of a fifth wave diagonal which is a good sign and we're into this zone now we're going to be very very aware but look at this it just unfolded just almost textbook this is what we drew on october 21st today's october 23rd so it's the last couple of days so i'm going to keep a real close eye on the psychology of buying and selling. I also need to be mindful of time. We've got our private Telegram group, people that bought my course. We're doing a live workshop and I got around 15, 20 minutes before I need to be on that workshop. So I'm getting this filmed for you guys, for you guys. So let's just quickly, just do a quick recap. Recap, um, where's this? Here we go, I wanna bring this up. Hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna do it like this. Quick recap on Elliott Wave. If you've taken my free Elliott Wave Fibonacci Masterclass, you should know by now that if I can just get this a bit bigger, boom, boom, boom. there we go. You should know that markets now move. I say now move, I'm gonna forget the rules. You can read the rules, you can pause them. But typically in a five wave sequence, one, two, three, four, five, impulsive. And then we're waiting for an ABC correction. In around 50% of the time, the markets identify, identifiably have these patterns and we're seeing it textbook. I'm gonna show you with cross swap and cross wallet with healthy markets, healthy buying and selling behavior, healthy, you know, just buying and then profit taking, then buying and profit taking, the market always expanding and contracting all of the time. And we want to pay special attention to that. And then the markets have different degrees of counts. There's counts within the counts, right? We want to use this information um, all of the time. So how is this valuable for us? First, we'll start with cross swap and then we'll jump into cross, no, cross swap, yeah, and then we'll jump into cross wallet. Why am I, why am I using, using these? Because we covered it and they're doing well. A lot of you should be in good profit by, by now because when we did the video, the first, the first first, one was in this region and it is nice, move to the upside and it's now doing a correction, which is healthy, right? I always want you to think of the market when it does this impulsive move. It's very, very impulsive. Clear five wave sequence. One, two, three, really impulsive. Four, five, that's like a sprint, right? Think of it as Usain Bolt's, just a hundred meter dash. Now we need a breather. Yeah, it needs a correction. That's what a breather is. It needs a rest period. It needs a recovery, recovery, recovery. What happens after the next recovery? Hey, it's the next race. It's the next race. What do we anticipate after the next race? It's actually a bigger, stronger sprint. And we did this in the last video. Um, but just to kind of quickly remind you, even when I bring this back up, what I wanted to show you is, if I can bring this up here, and let's see, here we go. Uh, here. So we are actually saying with cross swap and cross wallet, this part of the market, one, two, three, four, five, looks like it's been done, tick. And then we look like we're unfolding into an A, B, C. And it looks like we're getting into this zone over here. So it's almost a tick. And then what do we anticipate next? Well, in terms of Elliott Wave and Fibonacci, and if you haven't taken my free Elliott Wave and Fibonacci Masterclass, you're missing out. I've simplified it. I've simplified this stuff, which is normally really, really complicated. Is in the link below, it's free, it's around half an hour, but I just break it down for you. But what are we anticipating next, based on human psychology of buying and selling behavior, is now this part of the wave, this part. 
which normally breaks down into one, two, three, four, five. So when I said at the beginning, has the train left the station? I was referring to, if I just change the color here, is it let me change? Yeah, here we go. I was referring to this part, you know, ha has the train left the station? We go, well, kind of, yeah, because it got to here, but now it's gonna, it looks like it's doing a retracement to over here, and now the rocket, why do I call this the rocket? Because the rocket, wave threes are normally, especially in financial markets, the most impulsive, impulsive, aggressive, bullish behavior. Now in crypto, to be totally honest, what I found is more similar to commodity markets, which is where wave fives tend to be a bit more bullish. So now let's just focus on where is the high probability end of a cross swap, this is a cross swap right here, cross swaps, wave two, wave two, check out we talking about wave two. All right, let me just make sure we're all on the same page here. Let me just zoom in and zoom in over here. So again, I, I covered this more in detail in my courses. And if you take one of my courses after the masterclass, like buy them, they're on the discount at the moment, you get to join one of my, um, my, my private telegram group, uh, which has just reached 100 this morning. We had 100th member this morning, thank you, thank you. Welcome, you were number 100. So it's going very, very fast. Very excited to have you all here. So here, the first move to the upside is what we're referring to as a wave one, right? But you go, Chigia, yeah, but you've got this wave one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a wave five of a wave one. That's what I mean by different degrees of counts. So that's what we got here. It's uh, like this yellow line is the one, two, three, four, five. And then we got this big one. Yeah, so we, we're anticipating now. We're, and we're doing it with high probability. So now what we're going to be anticipating next, if I can just get rid of these, if I can get rid of these, let's get rid of these now because we've got good data, very good data, healthy data. All right, we can get rid of this. This was a wave five high projection that, that unfolded nicely. Is what we're looking at now is a potential. It's a bit flat on the end, but that's fine. Uh, let's get this wave A. Where are you, wave A? All right, it looks like a nice wave A, a wave B. And it's like a fifth wave diagonal, right? And it's gone below this point, which confirms this B. And now we should end up somewhere in this region. You know, 50% is typically the minimum around here. We're, we're way beyond in time, so we don't need to do an extra time retracement. But what we can do is one more price retracement or extension, let's say. Oh, it's a, uh, what is it called? I mean, I'm used to calling it an alternate price projection, but trading view calls it something else. Trading view calls it, what does it call it? It calls it, Trend-based Fib extension. That's what TradingView calls it. Yeah, one of my mentors, who's the author of this book, I'm featured in the book. Robert Miner, one of the best technical traders on the planet. I highly recommend this book, by the way, if you're into Elliott and Fibonacci. He uses the term alternate price projections. Alternate price projections, but that's the same same jargon. It's the same kind of same deal. So what we want to do here is typically a wave C will finish. I'm going to keep track of time because I've got this live workshop in. I need to be ready in 20 minutes, so I'll, I'll be sharp. Okay, we've got these two price targets here. Now, we can see this one here is near the cluster of the 100%. So this is going to be the high probability zone. This will be the minimum over here. But because, yeah, so this, this now, we can almost delete these ones. This is less likely. It could drop, but it's less likely. And this one's even less likely as well. So it's going to be these two. And I'm going to actually draw in the 38. 38 is unusual for a wave two. If a market doesn't come down to 50% and only comes down to a 38.2% retracement, which is what this number is here, that's a very bullish sign. It's saying that, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it in layman's terms. It's saying that token holders of CrossWap are enjoying the very high APYs, 220%, 508%, 670%. It changes every day. 381%, and today I think it was 170%. Average is 389% APY, which works out, you, you can do the math. But here, if it does take off from here, that's a very bullish sign because most corrections get to the 50%. So this is more highly probable, but here we, can, we want to be aware of this also. There's a couple other things we can take into account. I'm just going to focus on the correction part now. It's just, we, we know what's happened over here. Is... We might potentially get, this is a one hour chart because it's quite recent data. I've got it on the one hour chart. If we do get a, a bullish reversal on the indicator, on the stochastics RSI, we can see it might make a higher high like this, but the price has made a lower low. This is what you call convergence. Yeah, convergence as in 
the price is going down, the indicator is going up. They're saying there's almost like extra bullish behavior coming in. There's like people waiting to buy, waiting to buy, which is natural, normal psychology when a wave two. So what we're going to do here, and do something similar for cross wallet, because it's looking very, very similar. I think my aim is just to keep everything very objective here. You know, we don't want to get emotional. You don't need to get emotional. Keep it very professional, objective. All right, I've got a question mark here because we haven't had this wave two confirmed. What will confirm the wave two? Well, officially when the price goes above this point, as in the wave B high, if I can just make it a bit more clearer, excuse me. And especially if we get above this high, yeah, that will confirm, that'll be the, excuse me, I've got a bit of, I'm having too much coffee this morning. Uh, if it goes above this high. So, but you, you can get clearer indications, but because we're not trading this in a typical form, because you haven't got stop loss, you haven't got limit orders on cross swap um, yet, but you could go above here or above here could be a, an initial indication. But anywhere now, we should anticipate, anticipate, if I can do this, I'm going to change this pink box because I like to use these pink boxes. This zone here, keep it broad. We've got two zones within the zone. We've got uh, this zone, which is the 100% of this wave A projected from this wave B, which says this is that 100%, that's a really common zone. And then this is the typical minimum. And that would be more bullish sign. This is more highly probable, but the way cross swap is and how strong it is and the APY is and just the way the community is around it, it might end up being over here. So let's just finish up on, again, we're not looking at fundamentals now, right? Fundamentals we looked at was down here, right? We go, has this, has this got legs? Has this got legs? Right? We're looking at fundamentals here. Now the price buying behavior has really taken off. Now it's just speculation because they haven't released version one of the decks. It's still on the roadmap for this quarter. Um, so, you know, all of that stuff. So what we're going to do now is we'll just finish on, I think we've got it already. Let's, I might be able to just get it a bit more accurate because I was estimating that if the wave two low was here, that's what this line was based on. And there was another line here. The next two price targets for a typical wave three. Remember, we said this is a wave one, right? Confirmed. A wave two looks like it's forming. Textbook in time, pattern, price, you know, momentum, everything else. We go, great, looks healthy. What do we anticipate next? Well, we anticipate a wave three. Okay, typical wave zones for wave three is we can, we don't need to delete these yet because we haven't confirmed the wave two. Um, is typically these two zones. We did this before, but just here and here. Yeah, it's probably going to get here because it get overextended. Once this high gets taken out, it's 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 breaking a high, and it, it, it I think is that new price discovery because because cross, yeah yeah because yeah, we're in we're in new territory now, right? So because we've broken this all time high before, and now we're hovering above that all time high again. That's another reason why we're probably you know likely to gonna end up correcting here because it's in that cluster zone. So it's more likely we're gonna be in this zone here, finish the correction. And then the market's going to take off. And then, because it's price discovery, we've never seen, you know, there's no ceiling. There's no ceiling. There's no, there's no limitations. You know, the only limitation is the imagination, right? And the Bluezilla's marketing. Uh, what, what happens? I can't wait till they launch their version one of their decks. Uh, I always say Bluezilla team. Um, it's because they're like anonymous teams and uh, Bluezilla is the incubators of the team uh, or the project. Um, so yeah, so to so, so cross up, just be prepared for a nice shoot up. And uh, the two price targets that we have is, what does that say? $1.20, sorry, I'm short sighted. And $1.75. And once, once this high gets taken out, which is highly probable, not guaranteed, then we can do some price, and sorry, time analysis on when we should expect the wave three high to be made. All right, that's cross swap. How are we doing on time? All right, I got enough time to do cross wallet. I need to disappear in 10 minutes. All right, Cross Wallet is very similar. So we did a video on Cross Wallet on the 18th of October. And I said, Cross Wallet is, is still set to do a 100X, which I believe it is, is now the right time to buy or should you wait, right? And I think in the video I said, wait, <laughs> why? Because we've had this particular chart pattern and I said we should anticipate some type of ABC correction. We had this nice impulsive wave. It looked like a wave three, and we should anticipate ABC. We also said, and just make sure everyone was aware, that there was a token release for the people that got into the IDO of Cross Wallet on the 21st of October. I calculated it to be 33 million tokens unlocked, which at the current price 
of that day was $1.2 million worth of token. So if everyone sold their token, it would have been $1.2 million worth of selling pressure, right? Just wanted to be aware of that. So what's the price action today? Well, it's like it was just bang on, right? Bang on. Okay, it's a bit different from, you know, like it's a bit, we, well, this is what I wanted to cover with you today, actually, because this is not clear. Um, because I hear everyone talking about it, especially in my private Telegram community, for those who have bought my course, I wanted to make sure they're aware of this. So this is what I'm seeing, right? Again, just a quick recap. We got this, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, or on a micro degree, if I can just bring this up here. Uh, oh, I want the spotlight here. Uh, we, we're focusing on what's here. One, two, three, four, five is what we're focused on, and it's this zone now with cross wallet, so it's a bit different to cross swap. And then we should anticipate a correction and then a bigger move to the upside. So if I can get rid of this again. Boom. So what I'm saying here is we did our video, I think the first one in this zone, in this zone. So hopefully a lot of you are in good profit, um, but it did make a big correction. And then you might have a second bite at the cherry. Why? Because it looks like we're forming a textbook wave four. But don't be fooled. I don't think the wave four is over yet. Most people think this low is the wave four. It could be, but I don't think so. I'm going to show you why. So let's just quickly recap just to make sure you're, we're on the same page. Wave one, wave two, look at this, A, B, C correction, and then a one, two, three, four, five of a wave three, and then we should anticipate a correction, one, two, three, as an A, B, C of a four, and then a continuation to the upside. So I think cross swap is almost ready to shoot. It looks like it's ready to rock it, whereas cross wallet, I think, has a bit more, bit more correcting to do. Why? Because, in my opinion, this is very impulsive for a correction. Isn't there's not a really clear ABC structure, right? And normally you should anticipate three waves. So this looks like actually the first wave. This to me looks like the second wave. It actually looks like a clean A B C, right? There's not an impulsive structure. It's an impulse up, but it's an A B C, the three wave structure. That would indicate to me we should have one more leg down to finish off this wave four at this 62% maximum correction. Also keep in mind, we did have the token unlock around here. I know these green, let me get rid of this. This is getting... We did have the token unlock on the 21st, which was, yeah, around around this region. And we were, I was anticipating a bit more of a price dump, to be honest, um, but it held, it held. In fact, the price went up, right? The price went up. But don't be fooled, the people that have uh, been waiting patiently to sell, they're probably gonna take profits now here, and it will probably drive the price down to around here. And then the people that missed the boat, Missed the boat down here, or the people want to add to their position that got in around here are going to be probably buying here, which will drive the wave five. That's just normal buying and selling behavior. So if we just clean this up, let's just clean this up. Let's just do this again. I'm going to wrap up for you. All right, we'll do this. We'll do this. Bump, bump, bump. Let's get rid of this, this, this. So I think this could be the wave four low, right? This almost looks like that Bitcoin correction, the way Bitcoin plant played out, um, but a bit more clean. And I'm going to show you why. To me, this looks like. I need to add this to my, because uh, I, I haven't added this to my favorites. There we go. Let me add this. Okay, here we go. Well, to me here, this looks like a, to me an A, come on, an A, B, C, right? To me, right? And on a more macro degree count, this is likely, this could be the end of the correction, but to me, it looks like more of an A, B, and then possibly finishing off on a C, right? I'm just gonna put this on a micro count, micro, micro. Yeah, so we've got two degrees of count here. Let me just clean this up here as well. There we go. All right, so now let's just finish up on, again, I wanna look at this macro picture, because look how big this wave two was, right? And wave two and wave four have a direct relationship with each other. Look how big this wave two was. So wave four, often will be a similar kind of time and it will kind of marry up, yeah. Um, you know, this is a bit more complex and when wave two is complex, it's not that complex, but it's more of a, not a typical ABC, it's not that clean. When it's a bit complex, wave four tends to be a bit more simple and simple meaning ABC zigzag. If you're taking my course, if you're taking my free LA Wave Fibonacci Masterclass, that will make more sense. Uh, but you can, I'm hoping you're seeing the power of this because we projected this in advance, guys. This was in advance, you know, total psychology of buying and selling, mass herd psychology. That's what Elliott Wave and Fibonacci measures. Are we on time? All right, let me, let me wrap up now. Let's just finish on. 
some typical stuff, some typical stuff. What we're going to do is, we did this before, but I'm just going to redo it again because we've got more data now, is if we measure wave three, more often than not, a wave four correction is 38, 50 to 62%. 62% 62% tends to be the maximum. And we kind of we tagged that with the wave, what we're calling, but a potential wave A. Um, and then what we also want to be aware of is the relationship between this potential wave A and this potential wave C. And what I found in most markets, especially crypto, is the typical minimum is 62%, and then the typical maximum is a hundred percent. Now, the reason why I don't think it will hit the hundred percent. And again, it might do, but I'm less likely is that from an early wave standpoint, wave four should not go into the trade range of wave one, which is below this white line. And these are below that line. So we can get rid of this and say that's highly likely. That will invalidate the count. Can happen. Anything can happen. Probabilities, never certainties. Yeah, I'm going to keep repeating that just so it drills into your mind. Uh, we've, we've, we've obviously passed this one, surpassed this one. So it's likely to go past that one, past this one, and it's this one here. So this is going to be that. And then we're also going to just, just do a little bit of time analysis. How long did it take for this wave A to form? Calling it a wave, potential wave A. I should put a question mark there, really. And we'll project that forward by 100%. No, that's not what I want. I'm going to do that again. Do it here. Oh. And... So this is my this is my short sightedness, guys. I need to I need to buy some new glasses. All right, all right. This is this is what we're saying. This is what we're saying. This is what we're going to finish on. Potentially, we may see a wave C finish around this zone. What's the date? Oh, I hate Dex tool sometimes. It it kind of it doesn't. Um, I can just do it like this. Let me do it like this. Seventeenth uh, of October at two a.m. Twenty first of October. Let's just say four days. So that's four days. So this date here, four days added. So 26, my wife's birthday. My wife's birthday, 26th of October. Um, it may correct and finish this correction. And then last but not least, what do we anticipate if it unfolds like this? Again, it's an if. It's never guaranteed, right? Doesn't matter how good the project is. I know they're due to launch their, their app in the Android and iOS store this quarter, uh, according to the Telegram. But if it does unfold like this, we should anticipate a wave five. What's a wave five? It tends to be something like that, right? Um, we can, I'll, I'll quickly project something actually, because I know you guys like price targets. Let's just take it from here. Boom. And the typical wave five is, where are we? I know it's quite broad. We can narrow it down with an external retracement. I cover external retracements. I refer to it as an as an intermediate level in terms of skill level in my courses. But you'll you'll see. I'm hoping you're seeing this because I'm I'm repeating it a lot. But I want to follow up with these projects because I don't want to just leave you high and dry kind of thing. Um, right, we've got these two zones. We've got this zone here. The price is just call it five to six cents, give or take, and then almost seven around seven cents around seven cents six to seven cents right um and, and take into account today's price is around 3.5 3.5 give or take uh so let's just finish up with these two points here we're gonna say just here or here now if it does unfold to a wave five if you haven't already just strongly consider becoming risk-free at this zone or this zone Especially if you bought down here. It doesn't mean sell your whole position. If you bought down here, you know, you're enjoying the staking rewards. I think uh, Cross Wallet is given a fixed 25% APY, whereas Cross Swap is a daily fluctuating based on transaction. They charge um, a tax, a sales tax, and I believe 50% goes to the stakers. Hence, the APY has gone as high as 670% and as low as 170%, but it's averaging around 389. 389. Um, yeah, it's good to be risk-free. You've you know written down this correction. Next wave up, and if it does unfold like this, because you want to take the bigger picture into account, fundamentals and technicals. There's a guy called Ivan. I think he's from Sweden, and he used to say, uh, "What do you say? Um, the project needs both fundamentals and pumpamentals." Yeah, <laughs> pumpamentals. 
fundamentals meaning you know the launch of a project hype um marketing advertising etc what should we anticipate next well then this will this this will become a, a larger degree wave one then we should anticipate a larger degree wave two and then followed by a larger degree. I know I gave you perspective love the other, the other day. I know my uh, community likes it when I talk about perspective. You know, in terms of price, we were, we were saying, I can't remember, I mixed them up. Uh, let's just do it like this. A wave three, a wave three, something like that. So there you have it. There you have it. That was a high level. Jeez, I'm running low on time. Okay, okay, let's wrap up. All right. That was high level technical analysis, purely objective. Elite Wave and Fibonacci, if you haven't already, take my free Elite Wave and Fibonacci Masterclass. I'm telling you, it allows you to see things that you don't normally see. Buying and selling behavior independent of fundamentals, right? Human psychology of fear and greed drives the price action, especially short term. One week, one month, three months, six months, that's all short term. That's all short term. Very, very important. All right, let's finish on a quote. Hopefully I can get this out to you before... My web, I'm, I'm racing the clock today, racing the clock today. All right, because I've seen what book this is. My book, it's my book. Um, the Solution, chapter three. All right, we're going to finish with Confucius. Yep. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. The reason I chose that one today is I know Elliot Wave and Fibonacci can be, you know, take a bit of time to learn and get your head around, but everyone has to start somewhere, right? Everything is difficult before it's easy. So just start, keep going one step at a time. And you'll reach your goals and ambitions, whether it's in the next three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, two years, five years, 10 years, lifetime. 10 years are going to go by anyway, so you might as well start learning now. All right, have a great day. Have a great Saturday, and I will see you very soon.